All right, so we're gonna install the strings onto the ukulele right now. Uh, what we have is we have a type of bridge here that has a slot cut in here and you have to tie a knot and it goes underneath this slot and then it locks itself in. And then you tune it like a standard ukulele. So I'll go ahead and start. You'll end up having a length of string. This here is the second string or the E string. I tie a figure eight knot in the end which is a stopper knot. It goes in there underneath and then it's gonna get locked in place just like that. Then I'm gonna bring it up, make sure you wrap it around from the inside and I wrap it around one or two times. It could be a little tricky. By wrapping it around one or two times you save yourself having to twist it up so you can string the instrument faster. And then I'm going to tighten it. These tuners tighten counterclockwise. So you'll see it increasing the tension and as the string increases tension, the tone will go up. So I tend to get all of my strings on here first and then I'll end up tuning the entire thing. So once all of your strings are on, you're gonna be able to tell if you need to either lower the nut, lower the bridge, raise the bridge, or raise the nut. If the strings are too high up from the first fret here, that means that your nut needs to be lowered. So you need to take out your strings and sand down the back edge of the nut so it can sit lower. If it needs to be raised up on one side, you can add a small wedge underneath um, one side if it needs to be raised up overall. Sometimes just making a new nut is the easier approach. If you have the bridge here, and if you need to raise your bridge up, then in this slot here, you can put an insert of either um, hard maple, some sort of hard wood, rosewood, ebony. Um, traditionally they use bison bone or bovine bone that goes in there because the resonation chamber or the resonation transfers better to the chamber that way. After that, it's going to be all dialed in.